Here's the deal, guys. I'm the biggest Star Wars fan in the office. I read a ton of expanded universe novels in high school. I spent my spare time on Wikipedia. But guess who's not seeing Star Wars opening weekend? Me. The internet, once a wonderful land of accessible information and dank memes, has become a deadly minefield of potential spoilers that I have to avoid. It's not fun, guys. You should, you should come watch the movie. It's gonna be awesome. Not now, Jack. Not now. Images of what appear to be the consumer version of the HTC Vive headset have leaked ahead of CES. The new model features a smoother overall look with a small camera at the bottom, with the controllers getting a nice consumer -y makeover as well. We'll see for certain whether this is the new design come CES in January, where HTC will apparently have a very big technological breakthrough to show off. So big that it's apparently the reason they delayed the headset from its initial release window in December. I'm calling it right now. They just skipped the whole VR thing and went straight to the Matrix. HTC, no! Didn't you watch the movies? Snape kills Dumbledore! Speaking of VR, Mozilla has released something they're calling A-Frame. It's an open source library to assist developers in making virtual reality experiences for websites. A-Frame's tools can be used to integrate VR right into a site using HTML and is compatible with the Oculus DK2 and Google Cardboard for iOS out of the box. Android support is coming soon, apparently. Mozilla says they're looking to make it a lot easier for VR experiences to be a part of normal web browsing, so you just click a link and have a VR site pop up in your headset. Yeah, that's how it starts. And then you don't know if you're clicking the links or the links are clicking you. Whoa! After ASRock released their Sky OC motherboard update for overclocking non-K Skylake CPUs, MSI is doing the same. The company has released BIOS updates for pretty much all of their Z170 models to allow previously non-overclockable Skylake CPUs to be fiddled with. Now, this isn't something Intel officially supports, so be wary you could screw up your CPU. Thankfully, MSI is balancing that out by also announcing a CPU bracket to prevent Skylake chips from being bent by third-party coolers because of that whole thing recently with bent Skylake CPUs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably haven't been watching Netlinked. Shame on you. Y'all know what time it is! Quick beats! <coughs> Quick beats! <coughs> Quick beats. Eww. You should probably get your throat looked at there, bud. Nice job, though. Microsoft has updated their Translator app for iOS and Android to allow pairing with wearables so you can connect a phone and smartwatch and have them translate to each other. International relations are solved! War is over! We did it, guys. We did it. If you want to edit Office documents on desktop via Windows Phone's Continuum feature, you'll need an Office 365 subscription starting March 31st. Lame, but... Sort of makes sense, I guess. A group called Phantom Squad has threatened to take down Xbox Live during Christmas and has already launched DDoS attacks. Seriously, guys, go, go find bugs for Google or something. They might pay you and people won't think you're just bored jerks. Airbar is a cool little gadget that connects to a laptop display and turns it into a touchscreen if it's not already. Plus, it uses light to detect touch so you can use chopsticks. Sweet! And most people have given up hope on Arkham Knight for PC, but apparently the devs are still patching away. Maybe one day it will actually be worth buying on a Steam sale. One day. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Happy birthday, Mr. Kevin! Many fun times for you, I wished them. Christmas will be here soon, but forget about that because Boxing Week is more important. Okay, obviously it's not. But regardless, NCIX is counting down to Boxing Week with a jaw-dropping deal every day until December 26th. Whoa! That's my... That's my jaw-dropping. Today's deal, a Seagate Barracuda 3TB, 3.5-inch hard drive for $109.99. Wowza! But if you missed that one, tomorrow's deal is going to be a Logitech G510S gaming keyboard for $89.98. You'd be wise to keep your eye on the Daily Deal site to catch all the Daily Countdown deals because... because that's where they'll be posted, so... Makes sense. 
Click here or the link in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to retreat into my Star Wars proof shelter to wait until I can actually see the movie. To be safe, I'm going to block out all audiovisual stimuli as well. Jack, I'm ready.